To write the formula for barium fluoride, we'll go to the periodic table and barium, that's Ba, and fluoride, that's the fluorine, we looked that up, and that's F. So barium, that's a metal, and fluorine, that's a nonmetal. And when you have a metal and a nonmetal, you have an ionic compound. And when we write formulas for ionic compounds, we have to take into account the ionic charge. Back to the periodic table, barium, that's in group two, it has a two plus ionic charge. Fluorine has a one minus. So these should add up to zero to have a neutral compound like barium fluoride. They don't add up, so we can change the subscripts here so the molecule has an overall net charge of zero. And there's a way to do that called the crisscross method that makes it quite easy. We take the one here and move it down, and then the two from the barium over here. We don't write the one by convention, and let's get rid of these charges here. And that's the formula for barium fluoride, BaF2. But let's check our work to make sure we have the right answer. So we have barium, we said was two plus, and the fluorine, that was one minus. So we have two fluorine atoms, and each one's minus one, so two times the minus one here. We get a minus two, one barium times the two plus, we get a plus two. Plus two and minus two, they add up to zero, so the net charge is zero. This is the correct formula for barium fluoride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.